today is a November wrap up and December to be read. Now everyone knows that I claimed November to be sequel month. Did I keep up with it? Did I do a great job of it? Not really guys. I'm kind of disappointed in myself to be honest with you. I mean it's freaking November. Why did I pick November to be sequel month? Like the hardest month of the whole year. Like okay December is probably the hardest month but I mean why couldn't have picked freaking September or something? I don't know. But November shall remain sequel month because I did get out a lot. I did read a lot of sequels that I need to have read. So I only read five of them, but they were pretty thick books. Like, all these are pretty thick books. So, you know, cut me some slack, people. The first book I read was a sequel to Across the Universe called A Million Cents by Beth Revis. I love this book and I knew, I kind of knew I was going to love it because sometimes sequels kind of go downhill from the first one and I read so many good things about this one how it did not go downhill how everything was great and it was this book like I think could be a great movie because the whole book I'm like who the heck is what's going on like who's doing this crap and it had me guessing and I love books that have me guessing give it a good old five out of five I highly recommend this one it was part of the shade trilogy it was the last one it was called shine by Jerry Smith Reddy and not so much love in the shine. This was probably my least favorite out of all of this, the the series. I was I don't know what it was. I I don't I just didn't love it as much as Shade and Shift. Yeah, I think Shift was my all time favorite because there was I I don't know. Sometimes I guess it's the second books for me that I'm like I, I know the plot and I'm used to it and I'm ready for some more adventure and then the thirds usually in a trilogy it's always kind of winding down and you figure out this one was just okay for me I didn't I didn't hate it nor did I love it so I'm gonna give it a three out of five it was hmm, I recommend you read it obviously to finish the trilogy because you don't want it just laying on your shelf the next book I read which you guys should know about is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare you guys know I love this freaking book there is a review on it right here click on it please because it goes over how much I love this book is a sequel to Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, which is a prequel cool series to the Mortal Instrument series. Say that ten times fast. This one a five out of five because it was amazing. Hollowed by Cynthia Hand. This is a sequel to Unearthly. I actually like this one better than the first one, which surprised me because I thought the first one was okay. I wasn't like overly thrilled about it, but the second one I thought was way better, honestly. And I think it's just because it had more plot to it. I think it had more more for me to grip upon because it's going to read I grip I don't know. I really like this one actually a lot and I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. I definitely recommend you pick up the series. It's pretty good. The last book I read in November was Fever by Lauren Stefano. Sometimes when you read the first book you're in love with it and then months later you think about it and you're like the book was okay, but like I didn't love it. And that is the exact way I feel about Wither, which is the first book in this series. Fever is a dark book, guys. It's a very depressing book. Like, I was shocked how depressing it was. I understand it's depressing and things just don't go right. I get that. But me, I I don't define myself as a depressing person. I'm always the light at the end of the tunnel kind of person. And I feel like this book had that light at the end of the tunnel kind of aspect, but I felt like it was so far away. I was like, we are never going to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, what's the point? The way it ended, holy freaking crap. Like, really? This is me while I finished reading the, actually finishing reading the book. All right. What? 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 I didn't really like this book, but just because of that cliffhanger, I have to read the third one. Thank you, Lauren Stefano. Like, really? What a cliffhanger. I'll admit, it's a good cliffhanger. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty freaking good. I have to give it a 3 out of 5 just for that ending because what an ending. What's up with this cover? Let's take a moment to analyze Ryan and how she looks. Um, let's talk about this. This face going on here. Um... What's up with that? I don't know who makes that face. I don't understand. And it's just spaced out and it's like, I'm so depressed. Oh my god. Um, to all you guys that love this cover, I'm sorry, but I hate it. <laughs> like, I don't understand you're depressed, but really? The face? 
I only picked five books because it's December and let's be honest everyone is busy in December. School's kind of ending, you got the holidays going on and it's just busy. December is I think supposed to be time for peace but it's the busiest month out of the year almost and I just stresses me out. But I love Christmas. I love everything about it. I love everything about Christmas. It's just a very stressful time of the year. The end of the year. The first book I am reading, and I actually already started it, is Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. That's a little puppy on it. Told from a dog's perspective. Crazy, I know, right? This book is about a dog named Enzo and is on his lap. He and it's um it starts off with him on his eve of his death, and he's decided to recall his whole life. And each chapter is a short snippet into his life with different occasions, different things that he remembers. And Enzo des desperately, the dog, wants to be a human. This dog is he thinks he's not like other dogs. He understands humans. He watches TV and understands it. He has a fascination with becoming a human, and he thinks that if he's a good dog, when he dies, he'll become a human. If you're a cat lover, I would not pick up this book because it's about dogs and their love for them. If you guys don't know, I have a dog. She is a flat-coated retriever named Colleen. I love my dog. I love my dog like a child. I eventually want to have children. I'm, I've told you guys that. But for right now, Colleen is my child. And I know to, if you guys are not dog lovers, you're like, shut up. Like, dogs are like... Because even me, I was like, dogs aren't your child. They're not that close. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but... I think when you get a dog and you get a connection with that dog, your 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 opinion will change because mine did. Colleen follows me around everywhere. She's the sweetest, most nicest dog I've ever met in my life. That led me to pick up this book. Oh, I love this book. I'm already loving it, and I'm I'm so hesitant to finish it because I know I'm gonna cry. And it is a sort of collaboration book called Let It Snow, and it is told by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and. Lauren Miracle. I've never heard of Lauren Miracle, but I've heard of these other two and they're really good authors. This is just a book of, I think it's three different short stories about romance during Christmas and who wouldn't want that because I know I would. I'm excited to read it. I bought this like in July and I said I'd save this for December and here it is. December. Time Riders by Alex Scarrow. This is about a group of kids throughout different periods of times like 1912, 70s, they are about to die, but they get rescued by this guy, and they all become a group, and they go off to fight this bad guy. <laughs> Grab a synopsis. But I've heard so many good things about it, especially from Katie over at Raising Pages. She's ranted and raved about it, and she has called me out because I haven't read it yet. So, Katie, I'm reading it. Here we go. What I'm reading, which I've also saved for this month, is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Leviathan. And I bought this book... I want to say more than a year ago, <laughs> but I just have, I don't know, I've saved it. I've saved it for this particular month. Yeah. It's about a girl named Lily who has left a red notebook full of challenges on a favorite bookshelf in her store. Dad picks it up and they start to go about it and it's Christmas time, it's snowing, and it should be magical. The book I'm reading is a sequel. Yep, sequels. Um, I would have put this in my November um, to be read if I had known about it, but I forgot. Anyway, so... I'm just gonna read this mom to get it over with and that is finale by Becca Fitzpatrick you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with the series I remember reading the first one hush hush and I was like it's okay I remember reading the second one crescendo I was like this is really good I remember reading the third one called silence this is crap so how will finale fare in this in this um saga I, I'm gonna be honest with you I don't have high hopes for it at all because I'm just kind of like at a mm, whatever but have you guys read this one? Let me know what you think about it. If you love it or if you hate it or if it was so so. That's all the books I'm reading for December. So you guys know the drill. I didn't do two reviews this past month because nobody voted it seemed. What are you guys reading for December? Are you guys reading any Christmassy books? Are you just reading, you know, horror books? I don't know. What are you reading? And what have you read in November? Has anybody else read Z?